Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to focus on solving exponential equations. Exponential equation are those equation involving exponential expression. For example, we have 4 raised to 2x equals 8. How can we find the value of x in this equation? To find the value of x, we must have the same base. We need to change 4 and 8 with the same base. 2 raised to 2, that's 4. 2 raised to 3, that's 8. So to find the value of x, let us change 4 into 2 raised to 2 and 8 into 2 raised to 3. So 4, that is 2 raised to 2 times 2x equals 8, that is 2 raised to 3. So since we have the same base, let us cancel the base. And let's have 2 times 2x equals 3. 2 times 2x is 4x equals 3. So to find the value of x, divide both sides by 4. x is 3 over 4. So this will be the value of x. What about number 2? 25 raised to x plus 1 equals 125. So let us change 25 and 125 with the same base. 5 square is 25. That's 5 multiplied by itself, 25. 5 cubed, that is 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. To find the value of x, let us change 25 into 5 square and 125 into 5 cubed. So 5 square times x plus 1 equals 125, that is 5 cubed. Then cancel the base. We have 2 times x plus 1 equals 3. Then Multiply 2 by x plus 1. 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by 1, that's 2, equals 3. And then move 2 to the side of 3. 2x equals 3. From positive, it became negative 2. And then 2x equals 3 minus 2, that is 1. Divide both sides by 2. The value of x is 1 half. So this will be the value of x. That is 1 half. What about number 3? Go ahead and find the value of x. 3 raised to 2x equals 9 raised to 2x minus 3. So let us change 3 or 9 with the base 3. 3 square, that's 9. So to find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 9 into 3 square. So we have here 3, x raised to x plus 2 equals 9, that is 3 square, multiplied by 2x minus 3. So since we have the same base, let us cancel 3 or the base. So let us write x plus 2 equals 2 multiplied by 2x minus 3. And then, multiply 2 on 2x minus 3. Let's write x plus 2 equals 2 multiplied by 2x is 4x. And then, 2 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 6. Now, let us move x to the side of 4x minus 6. And negative 6 to the side of x plus 2. So that is 2. From negative, it became positive 6 equals 4x. From posit positive x minus x. 4x minus x is 3x. 2 plus 6 is 8. Then, divide both sides by 3. So this, the value of x is 8 over 3. So this will be the value for x. 
for number 4. 8 raised to 4x minus 12 equals 16 raised to 5x minus 3. How can we find the value of x in this equation? So let us write 8 and 16 with the same base. 2 raised to 3, that's 8. That is 2 multiplied by 2 times 2 is 8. Then, 2 raised to 4 is 16. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So let us change 8 and 16 by 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 4 to find the value of x. So we have here 2 raised to 3 times 4x minus 12 equals 16 into 2 raised to 4. That is 2 raised to 4 multiplied by 5x minus 3. Then cancel the base. We have here 3 times 4x minus 12 equals 4 times 5x minus 3. And then let us use distributive property. 3 multiplied by 4x is 12x. 3 multiplied by negative 12 is negative 36. Equals multiply 4 by 5x minus 3. That is 4 multiplied by 5x is 20x. Then 4 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 12. Then let us combine like terms. So let's move negative positive 12 to the side of 20x minus 12. And negative 12 to the side of negative 36. So negative 36 plus 12 equals 20x minus 12x. Then, negative 36 plus 12 is negative 24 equals 20x minus 12x is 8x. To find the value of x, divide both sides by 8. So, x is negative 24 divided by 8 is negative 3. So, this will be the value of x for number 4. What about number 5? Go ahead and find the value of x in number 5. So we have 27 raised to 3x minus 2 equals 81 raised to 2x plus 7. Let's change 81 and 27 with the same base. So that is 27 or 3 raised to 3 is 27. That is 3 times 3 times is 27. And then 3 raised to 4 is 81. That is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. Now, let us substitute the value of 27 or let us change 27 into 3 raised to 3. 3 raised to 3 times 3x minus 2 equals 81 in term into 3 raised to 4 times 2x plus 7. Then cancel the base. We have now 3 times 3x minus 2 equals 4 times 2x plus 7. Now, let's multiply 3 by 3x minus 2. So, we have 9x or 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 equals 4 multiplied by 2x is 8x. 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. Now, let us combine like terms. Let's move 8 to the side of 9x and negative 6 to the side of 28. So, that is 9x minus 8x equals 28 plus 6. 9x minus 8x is simply 1x or simply x. Then, 28 plus 6 is 34. So, the value of x is 34. What about number 6? What did you notice on example number 6? How do we find the value of x in equation number 6? So as you can see, we have 2 raised to x square multiplied by 2 raised to 3x equals 16. So let us change 16 in terms of base 2. 2 raised to 4 
that is 16. So let us write 2 raised to x square multiply by 2 raised to 3x equals 16, that is 2 raised to 4. Since we have the same base, we're going to cancel the base. Now, what are we going to do in the exponent of 2, that is x squared and 3x? So let us use the idea of x multiplied by x. So if you're going to multiply variable with the same base, you simply copy the variable and then add the exponent. x multiplied by x, that is x squared. So we're going to apply this process in simplifying 2 raised to x squared times 2 raised to 3, 3, 3 x. So that is x squared plus 3 x equals 4. We copy the base and then we add the exponent. So x squared plus 3 x equals 4. Move 4 to the side of x squared plus 3 x. That is x squared plus 3 x minus 4 equals 0. So since we have a quadratic equation, we have two values of x. Let's factor x squared. x squared, that is x and x. If you multiply x and x, the answer is x squared. What about this one? Negative 4. Two numbers, if you multiply, you can get negative 4. If you add, you can get positive 3. So the answer is 4 and negative 1. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4 plus negative 1 is positive 3. So let's have 4 and negative 1. So therefore, let us equate to 0. x plus 4 equals 0. And x minus 1 equals 0. So x is negative 4. And x is positive 1. So the value of x is negative 4 and positive 1. So let's try more complex example. On number 7, we have 4 raised to 2x minus 20 multiplied by 4 raised to x plus 64 equals 0. How can we find the value of x in this kind of equation? So as you can see, we have 4 raised to 2x minus 20 multiplied by 4 raised to x plus 64 equals to 0. Every time you encounter this kind of equation, let us represent the value of 4x and 4 raised to 2x. So let us represent a as the value of 4 raised to x. If 4 raised to x equals a, then a square is 4 raised to 2x. So let us change 4 raised to 2x into a square and 4x in terms of a. So let's have a square minus 20, then 4 raised to x, that is a, that is 20a, plus 64 equals 0. Then we can factor a square minus 20a plus 64 equals 0. So the factor of a square that is a and a then two numbers if you multiply you can get 64 if you add you can get negative 20 that is negative 16 and negative 4 negative 16 times negative 4 is positive 64 negative 16 plus negative 4 is negative 20 so therefore we have negative 16 and negative then let us equate to 0. So a minus 16 equals 0. a minus 4 equals 0. Let's move 16 to the side of 0. a equals positive 16 and a equals positive 4. So since we have the value of a, which is 4 raised to x, 4 raised to x equals 16. And then let us change 16 with the base 4. 4 square, that is 16. So that is 4 raised to x equals 16, that is 4 square. Cancel the base. So the value of x is 2. 
How about on this side? The value of a is 4 raised to x. 4 raised to x equals 4. So since we don't have an exponent, that is automatic 1. So cancel the base. x is 1. So the value of x is 2 and positive 1. What about the number 8? Go ahead and find the value of x for number 8. Number 8, we have 3 raised to 2x minus 3 raised to 2x minus 1 equals 18. Since we can change 18 with the base 3, what are we going to do? So let us factor this expression. So as you can see, the greatest common factor of 3 raised to 2x and negative 3 raised to 2x minus 1 is 3 raised to 2x. Now, 3 raised to 2x divided by 3 raised to 2x, that is 1. And then, 3 or negative 3 raised to 2x minus 1 divided by 3 raised to 2x, that is negative 3 raised to negative 1. So we cancel this one, we're going to have negative 1 equals 18. Okay, and then let us simplify this expression, that is 3 raised to 2x, that is 1, um, negative 3 raised to 1 third, that is negative 1 third, because 3 raised to negative 1, that is 1 third, equals 18. Then let us simplify 3 raised to 2x. 3 multiplied by negative positive 1 is 3. Minus 1 over 3 equals 18. And then 3 raised to 2x. 3 minus 1, that is 2, over 3 equals 18. And then to find the value of x, let us divide the equation by 2 thirds. And so this one, we have 3 raised to 2x equals three, 18 divided by 2 thirds, that is 18 times 3, that is 54 over 2. Then, we have 3 raised to 2x, 54 divided by 2, that is 27. Now, we can change 27 with the base 3. 3 raised to 3, that is 27. Let us change 27 in terms of 3 raised to 3. 3 raised to 2x equals 27, that is 3 cubed. Cancel the base. 2x equals 3. Divide by 2. Cancel. So x is 3 over so that's the value of x. So that's how you find the value of x in exponential equation.